everyone back at farmer pat here today we are at my friend faith's house and her house is just absolutely spectacular faith not only has spectacular flowers as you can see in the front but her backyard is a jamaican tropical paradise so faith come on thank you so much for allowing us to come and see you take your backyard at your front and your backyard the front is absolutely absolutely spectacular but i know there's even more stuff in the back so paul let them see the beautiful front and then let's walk around the black the back wow very very nice isn't it dragon fruit it's dra dragon fruit right i believe it's dragon fruit this is dragon fruit but it blooms a lovely thing it looks like a star when it opens up. wow absolutely beautiful and i see you have your desert rose and you have man it's absolutely beautiful you have and so many desert rose Kalaloo? and dragon fruit like dirt and oh and kalaloo the front what <laughs> wow you so i love cool. that you suck your food in there so it's not just beautiful but you get your food out of it yes. wonderful but i want to see oh yes oh yes uh, this is a lot of work and i know you have to be super careful with all these thorns oh, yes. Oh, yes. but you know what nobody will try and break in break into the windows because they'll get caught up Bad time to get to the front. No breakings, right? No breakings, right? Okay, good, good. All right, we're gonna check out the back where yeah. all the so one, food is. is. Yeah. 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 Wow, yeah. absolutely love that. Like a little, a little footbridge across. Yeah. Our hibiscus garden and our roses, very nice, lovely, lovely. All right, so take us. Let's look at food. Let's look at some food now. Oh, isn't that beautiful? You have a bungo, a bungo right up last year from October to May. Wow, so from October to May. Yeah. So that's seven yeah. years of, of bungo peas. Seven. And bungo peas is also seven known months, as, seven months, oh, seven yeah. months, right. So seven months of bungo peas or pigeon peas are gandules. Bungo peas? The tree. It has born from it was here. Have you ever wow. seen a papa with a limb? Yes, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, if sometimes when I get an injury, it will it just bring no, that and i yeah i got an injury right no no it just came up oh, okay. All right. so she has a papaya tree and her nice bungo peas a lot more bungo peas along here and one of my favorites zoom plum so she has a zoom plum tree so she as you can see guys she has she's really utilizing her space so it's a narrow area she's packing in her food so she has a Bungo peas, her June plums, that you see the June plums are bearing. And more bungo peas, look at this. Wow, you, you use them every inch of your garden well. Another June plum. And these are, yeah. and these are the dwarf, these are the dwarf June plums, yeah. so they don't get very, very big. Oh, they make a very good juice. Oh, okay. See, so she, she makes color juice. Color. Juice with them. And that's, that's a, a, a thing. Okay, thyme and kalaloo and the aloe, moringa, nice, and more mint, Jamaican black mint. Oh, it's thyme. Oh, thyme, okay. Mm, very nice. And this is called blue porta weed. People say it's good for COVID, but of course there's no proof of that, but it's a beautiful flower. Especially, I put it in. Yeah, and they call it blue porta weed, so that's okay. from what I know of. Yeah. Okay, so this is called Sumba, guys, and this is something that I know we had in Jamaica. I don't know too much about it. So can you tell them what this is good for? Oh, what I heard it's good for is, yeah. is um, taking down your blood sugar level. Oh, okay. So it's it, very bitter. Okay. So they usually use it with, they cook it and use it with like um, salt fish. Okay. All right. And it makes a good meat, but it's sort of bitter. It's sort of very bitter, but it helps with, a, supposedly helps with the blood, blood, blood sugar, sugar level. Yeah. Yeah. And people, you know that in the islands, we have so many different herbs and, and leaves and fruits that we eat to take care of sugar and blood pressure and all these things. So this is just another one of the home remedies that we have in the islands. I see you have your little papaya grove here. A yes. little nursery bringing up all your papayas. Yes, it, so once you know what it's a girl or boy, yeah? transplant it. I don't know what I mean. You can tell when the, once it starts, um, the flower comes up, you'll know. Oh, yeah. But here you have this beautiful, you can't leave so this. So. This is a beautiful source of trees. And is it multiple trees or this one? This one. Okay, this one so it, has, it looks like it has multiple roots. Yes, it's absolutely beautiful, guys. And you know that source up, and this is proven with the Mayo Clinic and the cancer centers, 
This has very powerful um, cancer fighting properties in the leaves. Mm -hmm. They're actually selling it all over the US. Yeah. It's wonderful. And you actually get sauce up from it? Yeah. Wow. We have some color in there. Okay. Color loose, scotch bonnet. Yeah, you have a nice soft voice. I have to talk louder so they can hear you. <coughs> so it has a no, scotch no. bonnet no. and a Cuban oregano. Sweet potato. Oh, sweet potato. <laughs> Yay. That's one of my absolute favorites. Sweet Did you know that the leaves can be eaten? No. The leaves are more nutritious than, than eating spinach. It has, it's packed with nutrients. So I, you have to just steam it just I, like? You can steam it down, you can stir fry it like Asian, or I put them in my shakes. So like I make shakes, I put them in the shakes. Really? But you can stir fry it and eat it. You can make it omelets. I make, I have videos on all those things that I make oh with the sweet goodness. potato leaves. You can't do it with regular potatoes, but sweet potato leaves, mm -hmm. you can do that. And you know, you can just break, break it. Yes, like all and, these arrows and, and, and stick roots. it in. Yes, yes. And then you get more potatoes. Wow, more moringa, more gungo peas. I really love the gungo peas. This is really excellent. Nice. And more papayas. And these are girls. Yes. These are girls. Yes, you can tell by the, by the flower coming from the and from some the fever grass there. Yeah. Oh, fever grass, good. And and your lime tree. Lime tree. It's so hard to get healthy lime trees yeah. in in um so far because of the tanker. But wow, look at this beauty, guys. Red Who knows what this is? Oh, Who yeah, knows red. what this is? red roots right here in south florida look so how beautiful pretty. you need to look at these leaves look at the beauty look at the health of these leaves wow so how did you where did you how did you grow this i got it in a pot Just you a got small, a little one small wow. time, my auntie okay. she's the one i say you have to go to in fort ah. she has everything wow so i got a small plant and i had it for a while and then I decided to plant it and it just... Oh my goodness, this is it just, this is an absolute it beautiful tree. Off, I telling. would love to have a breadfruit tree. This is absolutely beautiful. And I it, wonder how many years. it it's going to bear. It's young. It's yeah. a young tree. It's just oh. this year I got it from her. Oh my goodness, this is an absolute beauty. But since and I planted it, it just went Look on. at these leaves. Look at these. Look at this. It's really pretty. Absolutely beautiful. It's almost like artwork. Yeah. It's like it's so beautiful. Not, not to mention how good the food is. And you have your sugar, sugar cane, cane along here. And the avocado. And there's a... This is this. more, huh? Yeah. That's a hibiscus tree. Yeah, more hibiscus. It's nice and healthy looking, very dark green. It probably doesn't flower a lot because it's in the shade though, right? I took it from the front. Oh, okay. It because it was too big for the front. So okay. I, I took it up and planted. Okay, all right. What is that growing? I see some little, some little pods. What is that back there? You see it? Oh, I don't know what that's mm. That looks like something. Some bush. Oh, okay. Like oh, okay. And uh, they have sugar cane next door, too. Yeah. Very and nice. You look at sugar cane grove. And this is your avocado? Yes. You get, and you get pears off it? It's a young tree. So okay, my, it's young. My gardener told me that it's going to bear next year. Okay, all right. So Jamaicans call avocado pear. Yeah. And I'm pear avocado. Okay. <laughs> Gungo tree now it's taken up everywhere. Well, I, I I'm, I'm going love, to get a lot of gungo. I year. love how you and have that your, one as well. I love small. how you have the store the garden because it, it's a beautiful tree. It, it, it's lovely when it's blossoming. Yeah. When it's blossoming, it's covered with yellow flowers and the flowers last for yeah. several weeks. Yeah. But then she has so many trees. It, it creates like a really nice ambiance. It creates a nice shade. It's really lovely. This is light here and the lychee. Oh, nice. Yeah. What? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Lychee are so expensive, you know, they cost as much as like $15, $20 a pound. Mm -hmm. And you have three trees, that's awesome. Do you I get lychee? Five. Wow. But around this side, I put down those two. They were okay. too near to the house. Okay. I wasn't comfortable with them, and they were huge trees. Wow, this is absolutely beautiful. How old are these trees, you know, approximately? Um, I don't know. Okay, but it's absolutely lovely. But you get lychee from it? I have. Oh wow, uh -huh. absolutely lovely. Uh -huh. And look at your beautiful plantains look and at bananas. Your planting and bananas and, and sugar, sugar cane, cane and you're right on the water. Yes. Absolutely lovely. Look at all the planting trees are, they love being, the banana trees and the planting, they love being close to the water because they suck the water. And look how tall, look at yes, the leaves. Yes, the leaves yes. go straight up because they're so healthy. They're getting all yes. that water. And the sugar cane also loves to be by the water. Lovely. Mm. Wow. But I have the pink and the white. I'm hoping oh my that goodness. they overlap. Oh, these are mandevilla. Okay. These are mandevilla. Very nice. 
I have the so pink, the pink one and the, or there. pink over there and a so white I'm, over I'm here. I'm training them to come across and overlap. They will. Oh, lovely, lovely, and this lovely. this is supposed to be a running rose. Oh, okay. But it's... It's, it's, it's not uh, running yet? No. Very nice. And this is... Um, Scotch on it. Scotch on it. Very but nice. But I, I have a problem with the white flag. Yes, all along here, What's all along the periphery, I've put bananas and plantains. Oh my goodness, and I love you. See, still have a nice walk with sugar cane, yeah. This is, you've really made a wonderful use of and the, the space. coconuts, really. Look at the coconuts. Yeah. Those coconuts are lovely. How do you get them down? You have to pay a company to get them down, the, right? The guys who do the, the, the lawn, lawn, they can do they it. it yes, and more, more banana walk, yeah. sugar cane walk. I just and love the ambience you have back here. What mango is this? Don't ask me the name of the oh, okay. Name. I don't know the name of <laughs> That's the like mangoes. me too. I just that know one what Eric is going to yeah. and it come, I think it was a, a, an East Indian. Okay. But I understand when you eat it and plant the seed, it comes out to be something else. So right, it's a mixture yeah. between, it to, tastes a little like mm -hmm. East Indian, but like bombay -ish. Right. Ma, ma, oh, that's good though. Yeah. That's a good taste. <laughs> so it's big. Yeah. I'm, and it's nice. Mangoes, very, very, mangoes very you have meaty. to get, like, grab them off the tree in order yeah. to get a good, to get the same tree. And this now is nice. Mm -hmm. Okra and some papaya. Very nice. So this is the okra forest. <laughs> Lovely. Nice. Okras and papayas. Papaya. I guess you love the papayas. Yeah. You have all these little nice little areas, all these mangoes and all these bananas. It's, it really creates a nice ambiance. Yeah. Tall, so you need something so bigger, something, something lower, right? And I see have some plantains that came out right Yeah, here. that plantain is old. Yeah. Wow. Look at and this is so much food. Bananas. You could actually just live live off the food that you have back here. It's a lot of food. Bananas. You have a lot sugar of food. And bananas. Yeah, you could. You could live on sugar cane, bananas, gunga peas. Yeah. You have tons of gunga peas. What was this? This is a lychee tree. Ah. But it seems as if it got some sort of um, like a disease. Like oh, okay. I see, it, I see it trying up. to come back. So I, um, it, I just got it this week. Oh, okay. Because when right. I looked at it, it didn't make sense. Right, These right. are all curling up and everything. Well, well, hopefully to come back healthy. Yeah. So you can have a fourth lychee. And just panning, I mean, look at bananas like dirt. I mean, you probably don't ever have to buy bananas once no. they start coming in. Once they're coming in. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Absolutely love this. And it makes me look forward to my property in Palm Bay when I'll be able to plant all of these things and I can see that you can to have some another gungo tree down there oh, and there's wow. another um, source of tree down there another source of wow you're really and really using up the space bougainvillea along the side yeah, yeah. and pineapple one of my mango I've had three pineapples this year oh wow from. three pineapples and what is this I don't know what the it, it flowers um, the flower is white oh it's a, it's a gardenia okay. it's a gardenia yeah Beautiful. It smells really nice, the gardenia. Yeah. Ah, yes, the white yam. Did you, have you harvested any yet? No. I have some of these yams growing in a pot. This is some of my bungo. Let's see, you have your pumpkin. You have your pumpkin yeah. also. And the mango tree. Mosquitoes in the water. I know the mosquitoes, right? They catch. Yep. Yeah, mosquitoes love me too. But this is really, really nice. Yeah. You see her um, and her pineapples that already, I guess they already bore. And uh, what is this one? Which one? Another mango? Mango, they're mango. They're mango. Mango, mango walk. Yeah. Man, this is they absolutely wonderful. And then they grow from the seeds. Wow, and I see you have more flowers over here. This side, I see the um, leaf of life. Leaf of life. Okay. And that's the skin one of the plants. Wow, and you have dragon fruit everywhere. And I have some, um, some other petals. So and scotch bonnet. I have scotch bonnet and sweet pepper. Lovely. I mean, you really, really use this space as well. More colorful. Wow, Faith, thank you so much for showing us your absolutely beautiful garden. This is beyond incredible. I think I'm going to walk that way. I want to look at that breadfruit again and take a picture of that breadfruit tree. I will. Yes. Oh, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, inside. Come on. Huh? Oh, more. There's inside. more. Okay. That's so how many hours a day do you take to maintain this garden? How many hours a week would you say you spend? You just enjoy it, right? You just go and enjoy it. 
Because I'm trying to encourage people to grow food to tell them it's not as hard as they think. Once you get it established, it basically takes care of itself. Right. Yep. Yep. And once once you get it in, then you know what you're doing. You just get to enjoy it. That's another scotch. Some more scotch bonnets and a very nice. You said you haven't harvested the yam yet. I haven't harvested mine yet either. But I do have the same white yam in a pot. Need to harvest it soon. Wow, this is really nice back here. Nice little outside bar area. Oh, nice. Cooking and everything out here. That's perfect. Okay, perfect, perfect. perfect. Look, cooking in the outdoors, looking out, looking out at a beautiful lake. So, this now, I have some some plants in the top here. Lovely, lovely, lovely. That's called the moon tree. Money tree, yeah. Yeah. And they have yeah. a ton of round orchids here. Yeah, and I have some other orchids. And look, oh, I love this. I love this. I like this color. I can take a little piece of this. Yes, yes, yes. I can just take a little piece of this. Because, guys, this is another plant that is very easy. Easy to catch. You just break this piece, take off a couple of the lower leaves, stick it in. You can stick it in water, water. I just stick it directly in the dirt and let's keep the soil moist. And before you know it, I have a big beautiful plant like yeah. this. So here so I got a free plant. Very nice, lovely, lovely. Mm. Yes, you really have done a spectacular job, especially, you know, it's just really, really incredible. It's a nice size garden, but you probably put 10 times more plants that the normal person would put and, you know, if they feed your family. And, and doesn't it give you joy? Doesn't it, don't you feel peaceful it, it like when you're walking through? Because sometimes when I sit, I just sit there and look at it. Too. Right, I know. And it's so peaceful. That's like me too. When I when I when I had my backyard, I would just spend hours. Sometimes I spend eight hours yeah. just being in the garden, walking around, and everything. It's and absolutely lovely. And then the lovely. water from the pool and the water from the lake. It's so oh, therapeutic. Wonderful, Seriously. wonderful. As you can see, all of this started with one seed, one plant, and then she added more and more and more until she created this absolutely beautiful haven, this beautiful paradise. Guys, all you have to do is go outside, go out and plant something today. Start somewhere. And you know, this is just wonderful. I wanna share this with you guys. Anyway, till next time, let's plant, grow and eat together. Don't forget to hit like if you enjoyed this video, drop a comment below, share it with someone else, and we'll, I'll see you on the next video. Bye now.